What up, people? This is Known coming at y'all with another video, man. And uh, I'd just like to warn y'all, this is not a video that's for everybody. This, If you don't feel like you go like what you go here, you're welcome to exit out this video right now. If you do happen to watch this video, I warn you, if you don't like it, you're welcome to unsub. You're welcome to dislike, blah, 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 whatever. Your heart's content. Uh, I'm always going to keep it real on my channel tell the freaking truth I'm not a racist I'm only a racist if I am racist then it's only racist to uh, people who are racist and prejudiced not, I'm not racist though I, I, if you black if you a black person out here and you being racist to somebody then I'm racist towards you if you white Hispanic Asian whoever it is and you being racist then I'm racist towards you that's how I am I'm not God I can't judge nobody I'm this and that and other I'm just keeping it real Thank you. <coughs> uh, well, people, this video happens to be addressing the best quarterback in the game, known as Matthew Stafford, but not him personally. Uh, this video is actually addressing his lovely wife, Kelly Stafford, who recently had two twins. Uh, so, shout out to their family and this and that and the other. But she decided today, uh, recently to say on, uh, I believe, Instagram or either she said an article I read where she feels like this thing with protesting, if like like involving basically a scenario with Colin Kaepernick, as we all know, especially us in DV has been supportive of Colin Kaepernick because of the things that have been going on. He's been getting black uh, balled out of a job. He's been losing millions of dollars. He's invested millions of dollars into black causes and helping people against brutality and standing up for people's rights. As you know, he's been taking a knee down, standing up against that song and against that flag for what it represents. And basically, that's her point. She feels like we should stand up for that flag with that same mentality he's got, basically. But instead of kneeing down, stand up for it. You cannot sit here and do That's like double-crossing. That's like somebody religious saying they love the Lord and this and that and other, but you're doing devilish stuff. Like You, you can't sit here and go uh, and perpetrate for both. You can't do both. You either want it out of you to go protest against something all the way or you go stand with the flag. And for him to sit there and protest and do the right thing and stand up against that racist song for the and against that flag that does not represent us, that does not stand for us in this country, but you want him to stand up and support what it should be, well, when that scenario happens, then it should be. If that if that song, that they get rid of that song and make a new song that isn't racist, that isn't tied to a slave owner, and this and that that's uh, made for everybody, then maybe we'll stand up for the song. And if that flag changes the meaning, maybe we'll stand up. Until then, we support Kaepernick. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm still a little under the weather. Uh, bear with me. But, uh, anyway, she's basically, basically saying stand up, uh, in his flag, in in a way as a protest against racial disputes and, and prejudice and, and sex trafficking with people and uh, police brutality and brutality against police and hate and this and that and other. That's fine, no, and I understand where she's coming from. But unfortunately, that flag and that song especially just does not stand for that. You cannot sit here and stand tell us to stand for something that it isn't about that. That's there's lyric there's other uh lyrics to that song that's edited out. Third and fourth uh rows I'm calling rows of that song that's not that they don't show because they know it's rest racist. That song was created by a man named Francis Scott Key, a slave owner. That is a disrespect for you to expect black people to uh, stand up for a song. You got, and it's, it's so bold what's happening to Colin Kaepernick. You got all these bad quarterbacks out here getting jobs. Jay Cutler is not, is, listen to Stephen A. Smith. Jay Cutler is not a leader. You paying him $10 million and he hasn't even touched the Super Bowl. Colin Kaepernick at least, uh, you know, took a team to a Super Bowl. Colin Kaepernick, bad coaches. He's been getting treated bad way before he started protesting. He's been getting treated bad way before then. And for you to tell this man to stop protesting and take his rights away is just so wrong. You mean to have Ordesson, when he was asking coaches to help him, you know, basically tune up his style of playing and say, hey, I want to be better at the pocket. 
they didn't want to do it. They wanted to make him run. You know, when it comes to black people in sports, they got a way of looking at us. That's so bold. He's been getting treated bad way before he started kneeling down. Let's make no mistake about that. Uh, again, Kelly, I understand where you're coming from. And I, to a certain slight degree, I, I, I almost agree with you. But the way you are looking at it, you can't understand where we're coming from. You cannot understand where people are coming from. Why we protest against that song. Why we protest against that flag. You cannot understand why we stand with him for that. I feel you. We should stand for what's right in this country. And that's exactly what we're doing. But we're not going to stand for that flag. And sitting here and just uh, because, you know, you feel like, oh, it's a way to unite the people. But the, that, that song and that flag is racist. It's so disrespectful. How could you ask uh, uh, all these athletes and players to sit there and stand for it? You know, if that's if your husband stand, uh, was to take a knee, he would be punished because he's a Detroit Lion. But if your husband played for another team and knee down, he might not get treated that bad. I know Aaron Rodgers wouldn't. I know Tom Brady wouldn't. Oh, yeah. they Oh, they stand and take a knee. Uh, against this country, oh, it's going to be time for the whole world to listen to. But Colin Kaepernick, oh, he's standing up for the brothers. And people turn on him. People treat him bad. He can't get a job. People find excuses not to give him a job. And then I got to hear people compare him with Tebow. <coughs> people, to me, I, I ain't hear Tebow being called the N-word by other white people. I ain't hear Tebow being called this and that. I ain't hear Tebow losing millions of dollars from endorsements uh, because that Tebow lost jobs because he couldn't throw the damn ball. Tebow lost jobs because he ain't had no arm to throw the ball. Matter of fact, when Tebow stopped playing in the NFL for a while, I actually saw him on commercials. I saw Tebow, Tebow on a Toshiba commercial. If I'm correct, that's a TV commercial. As far as uh, selling it like a form of brand of TVs and I guess other little technologies like phones or, um, well, computers and TVs and stuff like that. I saw him on a TV commercial, for God's sakes, after he had stopped playing. How can people ever compare Colin Kaepernick with Tim Tebow because it was some, some kind of weird, you know, if you want to call it weird, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to just say gimmick with them one hat, but this is that's just it. Colin Kaepernick, this is not a gimmick. This is real. He's standing up and protesting. And, Ke- and S- Kelly Stafford, again, one more again, I understand where you come from, but you cannot expect any of us to sit here and stand up for this flag against the bad stuff that's going on and not to look at it that way. When this country changes their way, then maybe we will stand up. But until then, the country got to show us something. Again, I'm not racist against nobody. I'm not prejudiced against this country. Hey, I'm a I'm a hardworking man. I go to work. I do my thing. I don't make no excuses in life. But I'm not finna sit here and agree with you on that. We love you and your husband, this and that and the other. But understand this: you can, I, that's something you should just left to yourself. You should not have spoke on that for whether you was on our side or not. You should not have gotten into that because the fact that matter it, it, it's almost making us look at you kind of in a funny way. And you may not people don't have to agree with me on this video. I understand how I feel about it. I don't feel like she should have said this. I don't feel like she's right about what she's saying. I feel where she's coming from, but what she's saying to me is kind of wrong. And maybe if you feel like if you anybody in the comment section want to you know tell me how y'all think y'all feel about it, go read the article. Uh, type up Kelly Stafford. I go Google it or whatever. Blah blah blah. Go on their website. It might be there. Uh, don't take my word on, but go in there and find it. I just read into it, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, like I said, it, it, it's gonna be a while for this country probably ever get it right bad treating everybody with equality is respect because when you think about that song it, it stands against everything this country claims to be about respect bravery hope and this and that and other it doesn't stand for that and that's just how i'm gonna leave it right now man i'm not about to 
try. I ain't trying to make this video too long, but uh, I just feel like I had to come out and preach on that. I read that article, and I, I got a little iffy about it. I didn't like the way that sounded. You know, uh, maybe you can, again, tell me in the comment section what you feel about it. If you feel like I missed the point where she was making, you leave it in the comment section. But like I said, uh, you know, I support Kaepernick. Mondo Ray Moore, all of us, we with him. Chase, Man Beast, we all with Kaepernick, King with him, I'm with him. But, uh, yeah, that's just my video for the moment, man. Shout out to everybody at DV. Uh, uh, if you like what I had to say, man, drop me a like. If you want, uh, want to have a subscribe, man, hit the sub button for me. Uh, appreciate for everybody who tune and watch my, all my videos, man, and all my viewers. Shout out to all y'all, man. Shout out to the One Pride Nation. Shout out to DV. Uh, shout out to you and your husband, Kelly Stafford, but I just didn't agree with you. But shout out to DV. Uh, peace, everybody.